Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to this talk. Today, I'm going to be uh, uh, talking about how to unleash Argo City observability superpowers. Um, uh, my name is Leonardo. Uh, everybody knows me by Leo. I'm one of the Argo maintainers. I help uh, driving the contributors meeting. Maybe you already met me uh, in that uh, meeting. And uh, um, I'm going to be presenting uh, you today. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Deng was supposed to, to join me today. He wasn't able to, to come, uh, but he provided me the, the recording and I'm going to be uh, playing it uh, at, uh, during his part. Um, so let's get started. And uh, I, I wanted to, to, to start just providing uh, a, a, really, a really brief story um, of what the problem uh, this is uh, trying to solve. So imagine uh, that you are uh, uh, passionate about technology and uh, you work for this company and developers are having issues deploying uh, uh, components in Argo CD, their, their applications in Argo CD. And um, uh, you have this, uh, sorry, to deploy applications in Kubernetes. And then you have this, uh, this uh, great idea to, to install Argo CD in, uh, in your company's uh, infrastructure. Uh, and Suddenly, it's a success. Developers start using uh, 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 Argo CD and deploying their application. And uh, one day, one of the developers come to you saying they, they, they can't deploy their application. There's a problem going on in production. And they ask for your help. And uh, you check the UI. There's no much of information there. Um, so your nature is to inspect the logs. And you open Argo CD logs, and you have that feeling. Uh, so you have to find uh, which one is the faulty wire, right? And you don't know much about Argo CD. It's uh, a little bit intimidating to, 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 to understand uh, the, the logs. And uh, this talk is about how you can uh, use uh, some observability uh, functionality that is uh, built in uh, inside Argo CD. Uh, to help you whenever this, uh, this day arrives. Uh, so basically, I'm going to be talking about metrics. And when I say metrics, is about Prometheus metrics. Um, and I'm going to be talking as well about distributed tracing, how Argo CD uh, uh, lever leverage distributed tracing uh, and uh, enables you to have a, a much better overview of what's going on in your, uh, in your Argo CD instance. And Deng is going to be uh, talking in his recording about uh, uh, how they run uh, continuous profiling to find Argo CD uh, bottlenecks at a uh, large scale. Um, so uh, Deng, Deng works for, for ByteDance, which is, by the way, the company uh, behind uh, TikTok applications. So it's a, a very large infrastructure they have there. So, uh, speaking a little bit about the numbers when I, men, when I say uh, about large scale, running Argo CD in large scale environments. Um, so we operate, uh, my team operates Argo CD at Intuit. Uh, uh, just uh, really brief numbers here. Uh, Intuit has uh, more than uh, 4, 000, uh, 14,000 employees, around 20 locations. Um, uh, we have more than 2,000 uh, production services. To support that, we have 44 Argo CD instances, which sums up uh, more than 16,000 Argo CD applications. So you, you probably already know our, uh, an Argo CD application can sync several resources. So it is, uh, 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 yeah, quite a bit uh, uh, heavy load environment that we have and that, and, and that we have to support Argo CD uh, at Intuit. So let's start talking about metrics and how we leverage uh, Prometheus metrics at Intuit and my team. Um, and uh, so basically, if you check the, uh, the, the, the documentation, basically, uh, you're going to be able to see that Argo CD has built, built in um, several uh, uh, Prometheus metrics that you can use to uh, um, uh, really inspect how applications are, 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 are uh, uh, updating. So for example, uh, the first one here in the list, I'm going to provide you an example. Uh, so uh, you can write queries, for example, to uh, check for the, the health status of your application. And whenever this, this health status comes uh, from healthy 
to uh, degraded, you can uh, configure uh, to send um, uh, alerts to your team so you can uh, 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 act on, the, on these issues. So this is, uh, there are several uh, uh, metrics that you can use. Um, and one thing I, I wanted to mention is that there are on the top here different components that you can see. Uh, and just talking a little bit about the Argo CD architecture because things are going to be uh, much better to understand. If you understand a little bit about uh, internals uh, 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 on how Argo CD is, is uh, designed. So basically users uh, interact uh, with API server and uh, so in, is, this is the same component that uh, serves the UI. So uh, most of the operations are, are, are provided by this uh, component, uh, which is pretty much a backend uh, service. Um, we also have repo server and uh, sometimes uh, depending on the, the, your configuration, the CMP server. So the boxes on, on, the, on, uh, on the top uh, represented with the orange color are basically backend services. And the ones at the bottom uh, in green are uh, controllers. So just uh, showing you uh, what I was uh, uh, displaying in the, in the previous slide, those metrics are exposed in specific ports that are already configured in Argo Studio. There, there's no uh, specific configuration that you need to, 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 uh, to do to, to have those metrics available. The only configuration is really pointing Prometheus to, to scrape those metrics from those ports and uh, you're going to be able to, to interact with, with those metrics. All right, but what we do actually inside into it uh, to, to leverage those metrics, right? So um, we uh, leverage uh, Grafana dashboards. Uh, we have a collection of, uh, uh, um, so we have our dedicated uh, alert dashboard, that's how we call it. And um, so basically you wrote, uh, a collection of uh, Prometheus queries leveraging those, those metrics. And whenever uh, uh, an error happens that we know we need to act, we send uh, uh, a pager duty alert. And the, the thing we, we like, I think it works really well for us, is um, uh, if there is a problem that needs human, human interaction to, to help solving the problem, right in the, Promethe in the pager duty alert, we provide a link so we can just uh, 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 click that link, it goes straight to the dashboard and we have an, uh, an overview of what happened uh, and we have some history. So it, 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 I, I think it's something we found uh, really useful to have alerts uh, linked with dashboards so it provides some visual uh, whenever something goes wrong. Um, so this, what I'm showing here, here uh, to you is, the, is a default dashboard that is provided by Argo CD repo. You can uh, uh, may start using this dashboard today if you're not already using in your infrastructure, uh, pointing to it. So this is a basically a general purpose dashboard. But uh, as I said, uh, you, the, the biggest advantage you have is by the time you start uh, tweaking those metrics to, uh, towards your needs, and uh, sending alerts whenever you need some uh, action item. Um, okay, so but what if you're running Argo CD in some sort of a multi-tenant environment? So what if you're sharing uh, the same infrastructure across different teams? Uh, so if, you're, if you just query one specific metric, what happens is that you, can, you can't easily um, route uh, uh, alerts specifically to uh, a dedicated team, for example. So this is uh, one feature that is uh, that, that I wanted to, to uh, quickly uh, show to you, that Argo City provides a similar feature that is available in uh, Cube State Metrics. Uh, so if you're familiar with that, it allows you to uh, define some labels in your application resource. So here you can see that I'm specifying two hypothetical labels, so app, team, platform, uh, app, uh, BU, business unit, uh, uh, infra. And if you configure Argo CD with uh, this uh, uh, um, command param parameters, uh, it'll, it, what Argo CD is going to do is uh, basically 
start uh, emitting a new metric called Argo CD app labels with the values that you define in your application resource, which allows you to join this metric with all the other metrics that, were, that, that I was showing before. So you can uh, basically uh, do a much better routing and, uh, on those metrics and send specific alerts to specific teams. So this is available today. Uh, yeah, uh, and moving forward, uh, distributed tracing. This is a new feature we introduced in Argo CD 2.4. Um, so Argo CD 2.4 embraced open telemetry. Um, so yeah, there was a, a little bit of work to, to get things updated, especially on the gRPC side. I'm not getting into that, but uh, the truth is, yeah, it's, it is available. There's not much you need to do to enable uh, Argo CD to start uh, uh, emitting uh, traces uh, to any open uh, telemetry collector that you have in your infrastructure. But the only thing you basically need to do is to edit this uh, config map. So if you're not familiar, uh, this is something I wanted to, to highlight as well. I'm not sure if there are too many uh, developers aware, but uh, Argo CD provides this uh, config map called Argo CD CMD params. So before we used to ask developers to patch Argo CD um, containers to customize uh, how they want to configure, spe configure specific uh, settings in the, in the, in the tool. But with, uh, this is not always uh, great uh, because for example, for the open telemetry configuration, you would have to patch uh, at least four different uh, containers uh, to add this additional configuration, which is basically the same uh, configuration for all of them. So Argo CD provides this uh, config map called Argo CD CMD params CM. You just define the, 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 the attribute. Uh, we have a complete doc, uh, documentation about all the possible uh, uh, configurations you can add in this config map. And it automatically injects the, whatever you define it in the appropriate uh, uh, containers. So it, this is just a, a tip uh, if you're not using it yet, and you're still patching uh, Argo CD containers, uh, this is a uh, maybe um, good thing you can start using. So uh, to have a complete list of uh, uh, attributes, you can configure it by using this config map. You don't have to memorize this URL. You just remember that we have a section in Argo CD documentation called operator manual. And inside you have a page called declarative setup. And inside this page, you're gonna have a link for all the config maps we have. Okay, all right, so let's talk a little bit about distributed tracing, and this, this is not Argo CD UI. This, this, uh, this screenshot here I ex extracted from uh, Jaeger UI uh, that I used to configure, uh, so I configure Argo CD locally, running locally uh, in uh, Jaeger, which is an open source tool to collect open, open telemetry traces. Uh, so here you can see that uh, immediately uh, the, the, there is uh, something that is made available in the UI, which is uh, most of the uh, distributed tracing UIs, the, the, the ones that I used to, will provide a, a similar uh, uh, diagram that shows you the interaction with the different components that you have in your application. So a, as I showed you before in the, dia in the architecture diagram, um, uh, Argo CD is not a single uh, pod that you just install and, and run. So there are several components involved. And there's a, an Argo CD to work properly, those components, they need, they need to collaborate together. So, and uh, by uh, leveraging distributed tracing, you can see those, those components, the, the interaction with those components. And whenever some of those components fail, uh, usually the UI will provide you a way to navigate uh, directly to the, to, the, to the point where this, this fails. So for example, um, um, Argo CD communicates with GitHub to get the, the, the desired state, and then it reconciles this desired state with the live state and provides you the diff that you're already uh, familiar in Argo CD UI. So uh, just with this, this very simple example, you, you understand that Argo CD depends on the connectivity between uh, your Argo CD installation and where you run your Git repository in order to calculate this uh, diff, right? 
So if something goes wrong, if your Argo CD is communicating with GitHub, for example, and GitHub is down, uh, Argo CD is, isn't able to, to, to calculate this diff, uh, for you uh, uh, at that point. And uh, relying on tools like uh, distributed tracing, things are going to be uh, uh, much easier to, to, to realize um, just by uh, uh, looking in logs or even looking in the UI. All right, so uh, I recorded a really quick navigation in, um, uh, in Jaeger UI. Uh, mainly to uh, show you uh, how it looks like and to have a feeling about um, what are the type of information you can get from it. So you can see uh, here on the left that you can filter by the different services and those services mean the different components that I was uh, uh, showing you in the uh, Argo CD uh, architectural diagram. And you can also see the different operations. So for example, Argo CD needs to list applications uh, and to see all, to, to, to show you all the applications that are deployed in a specific uh, uh, Argo CD instance. And that is served by this gRPC uh, call that, that, that needs uh, the, the, the collaboration of two uh, components. The one represented in orange are the uh, API server and the one represented in green is the API that is called uh, that we call, uh, it's a component inside Argo CD that we call repo server. So this is the gRPC call and it shows, here I'm showing you the, the operation. Uh, you can see all the details and inspect and you can expand the tags and see the details of it. Okay, so this is a pretty simple and uh, quick navigation on the, the type of information you can extract by uh, enabling traces. Um, but these are all uh, happy scenarios, right? So let me quickly show you what happens if uh, something is not right. So in this example, uh, what I did, I uh, manually killed repo server and called this, and I called the same. Um, uh, I, I, navigating in the UI, I, I, I invoke this, uh, this service to, to list the application. So as this operation requires uh, the connectivity between API server and repo server, uh, obviously a repo server is down, uh, in the distributed tracing view, um, you, it's very easy to spot where the error is. So if you click in, the, in exactly the point where you see this uh, red uh, circle, you can inspect the, the traces tags, and you can see that there, there's something going on between the connectivity between API server and repo server. So this is uh, the type of visibility that uh, enabling distributed, distributed tracing uh, uh, in your infrastructure, enabling Argo CD distributed tracing in your infrastructure is going to provide you. Okay, so moving forward in a presentation, so this is the time uh, where I'm going to uh, play the Deng's uh, recorded presentation. And again, yeah, he's going to be... Uh... Good morning. Let me see if the recording... Everyone, I'm Deng Zhou, uh, SRE from the Biden Stage it's platform team. Quiet. Today I'm going to present how we do continuous providing our our edge platform. This is the agenda for this talk. We will start from the definition of the continuous profiling. Then I will give an introduction about the high level architecture of the Bidance edge platform. Further than that, the deployment and the setup of the continuous profiling on Bidance platform will be discussed. Last but not least, Two case study about Argo CD performance troubleshooting will be presented. So what is the continuous profiling? Profiling is a dynamic method of analyzing the complexity of a program, such as CPU utilization, or the frequency and the duration of the function calls. With profiling, you can locate exactly which part of the application are consuming the most resources. Continuous profiling is a more powerful version of profiling that adds the dimension of time. There are two major types of profiling tools, instrumenting profiler and sampling profiler. 
the instrumenting profiling inserts code into function calls to collect function execution details, while the sampling profiling periodically collecting the function call stack to represent an estimate function call duration. This is the high-level picture of our edge platform architecture. In Binance, we have hundreds of CDN pops. Each pop is converted into one or more Kubernetes and are managed by the edge platform. So the edge platform is the control plan of our edge cluster federation or aggregations. The platform is equipped with infra service like storage, monitoring, logging, tracing, and so on. It provides unified console to expose services like uh, GitHub's metrics billing, IAM, and other product level features. There are actually ma many edge workloads already running on the platform by the sharing the resource and the infrastructures like uh, CDN, pro proxy, RTC, API, and game, and other services. So why do we want continuous providing on our edge platform? There are a few motivations. First of all, we are seeing scalability challenge on our system. We have hundreds of edge clusters all over the world, and more than five applications running on it. All the applications are managed by a single Argo CD instance. So we want to understand the performance issue and the root cause. Second, traditional performance test environment is hard to set up for us. Our edge cluster connection is not reliable due to the networking instability, which is very hard to mimic in the testing environment. Second, our application of the, this scale is very hard to mimic on, in terms of pattern. Even we can have similar number of applications, we are not able to mimic the unproduct activity and the remote health status. And then, our edge platform uses continuous delivery model, and we ship new features and fixes every week. As lot of feature enablement need corresponding edge pop change or update, it's very a high cost to simulate all the all the changes. Last but not least, even if we can do it, we have no intention to set up a very cost problem reproduce environment in terms of both money and engineer. Because of those, using continuous profiling tools to collect information from the production environment for the troubleshooting is a friendly solution for us. So this is the setup for continuous profiling on our edge platform. Edge, every piece of the software above Kubernetes is deployed via GitHub's manner and managed by the Argo CD. We have two profiling tools deployed, the Parker and the Periscope. Currently, only the control plan cluster enables the continuous profiling. All our targeting services are running on the control plan cluster, including Sonos, Premises, Argo CD, and other self-built services like resource manager, billing, ticket system, and so on. The first step I want to share today is the Argo CD application list performance. As our internal SIE become multiple project owners, we are seeing that his application listing waiting time is several times longer than our admin. This is a finger captured and provided by the Paka, one of the tools we are using, when the performance degradation lasts. From the ice frame figure, we can find out that application service list handler takes most of the waiting time. Inside it, we realize that RBAC enforcement takes a significant amount of time. After checking with the source code, it turns out that Argo CD will go through the owner role list to check the permission of each application for the user when they do the application list. 5,000 application times the length of the owner list is a major source of latency. As a quick workaround, we give the, we give the SRE the admin instead of owner list. The list latency has reduced from 40 seconds to 7 seconds. Besides the workaround, we have redesigned the permission ma management by using of the project role instead of global role to avoid the checking. In addition, we have figured out that Argo CD does not have a good caching about permission interpretation results. We have further added the caching on that. With the fix, the application listing can reduce to two seconds instead of seven for admin. 
Another case we want to discuss here is about the CPU efficiency improvement for Argo City with the con continuous providing help. Our SI observed that Argo City application controller has a very high CPU utilization in most of the time, even though there is no user activities. So we took, took a look at the profiling data collected by Periscope, which is another tool we used in our system. We observed that the function secret to cluster, which sounds like a quick lookup, consume significant amount of CPU. So we want to know what happened inside of this function by checking another profiling data point as shown in the, in, in the, in the slides. It turns out that the unmarshal of the cluster secret is a major CPU cost. Actually, the cluster secret is a very large data object which contains all the information regarding the cluster, in, in, including the certificate and the connection credentials. But the code shows that the controller just need to get the, get the cluster name but uh, unmarshal the whole secret. After reporting this, Argo CD upstream has fixed it by just adding an index of that, and the CPU utilization become much better since then. For anyone who are interested in learning more about continuous profiling, here is the reference. The first one is about what is the continuous profiling and how you can use it. The second is about another explanation of what is continuous profiling and the different type of continuous profiling. And the third one and the fourth one are two different tools we have, I have used and uh, demonstrated in our case. So these are the two findings we want to share today among not all cases we encounter internally. Beside Argo CD, we actually find problems, performance problems in Sanos and our self beauty service as well. Continual profiling is indeed an excellent tool which can help address the most unreproducible performance issue with very little overhead. Thank you. Okay, and uh, mainly to wrap up this talk, I have this last slide, uh, mainly to provide a conclusion. Uh, so in this talk, we spoke about where we are at Intuit and how we leverage uh, uh, Prometheus metrics, uh, having a dedicated dashboard uh, that we use internally. Uh, we, I also spoke where we're heading. So distributed tracing was enabled in Argo CD 2.4. This is not uh, still configured in our infrastructure. This is a work in progress, but we're, we're looking into going in that direction and improving the, the instrumentation that we have inside Argo CD. And uh, Deng uh, showed how they do uh, continuous profiling um, at ByteDance uh, to find uh, problems that are really hard to, 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 to reproduce um, because it requires a really huge environment to, to, to happen. Okay, so this is what I had for you today. I don't know if you have time for uh, questions. Any questions, anyone? Okay. So thank you.